One of the most significant factors stunting the rise of solar energy was the previously high cost of solar panels themselves. However, the cost of solar panels have dropped significantly, around 89% since 2010, and have continued to do so as solar technology and manufacturing techniques have improved. Solar remains one of the fastest growing energy resources in the world. It can help reduce your carbon footprint significantly as well as your utility bill, should you invest in solar system for your home. Now, before you make that decision, here are five things you should consider to help you manage your expectations when shifting to solar energy. Number one, an all-in-one solar energy company. Traditionally, most solar companies are brokers or finance firms who simply outsource solar module installations to their network of suppliers. Now, this is true for many of the nationwide solar companies like Sunrun and Tesla. And while this does solve your installation problem, it won't make your maintenance or warranty issues any more straightforward since there are third parties involved. Typically, these nationwide companies look for that installer. If they've gone out of business, then they gotta find another installer in that area to service your system. So it can take a little bit of time. On the other hand, a local solar company like Pacific Sun Technologies eliminates the middleman and does everything in-house from consultation and system design to warranty work and of course the installation itself. This makes your transition to renewable solar energy much smoother and a heck of a lot easier. If you can support a local installer, you'll likely have a much better experience. Number two, location, 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 regardless of the state you live in, going solar is still a cost-effective investment that cuts down your utility expenses as well as your carbon emissions. However, some states fare better for solar energy production than others, and surprisingly, the weather only plays a very small factor in this. In fact, on cloudy days compared to sunny days, solar panels can still generate power, but you usually see a decrease in their output by 10 to 25 percent so this is pretty small in the scheme of things if anything it's your state's electricity cost more than the weather that determines how much you can expect to save and how soon you can get a return on investment also consider your state's solar incentives and or their net metering program Homeowners here in California benefit from net metering, which gives you credits for any excess solar energy you don't use at your home and that gets sent back to the grid during the day. Net metering really helps you get the most savings from your solar system. We did a video on this, so be sure to check it out if you wanna learn more. I included a link in the description below. Number three, roof configuration. When considering solar for your home, don't forget to look up, to your roof that is. Small or complex shaped roofs must be taken into account to know the type of solar panels you should use and how many you'll actually need. If your roof has limited usable space or is shaded by a lot of trees or other structures, investing in a small solar system that uses high efficiency panels will maximize your solar production and can eventually help you save money in the long run. You can also pair your small solar system with a battery storage solution to help offset peak demand charges if you're on a time of use rate schedule with the utility company. Number four, your annual energy usage. Summer is the season that's often associated with the highest electric bill, mostly due to the increased usage of the air conditioner and other appliances to compensate for the warmer weather but summer is also the best time to utilize solar because it's the most abundant during this season. To know how large of a solar system you'll need, you first have to find out your home's average energy consumption. This is the measurement in kilowatt hours or KWH. This will help you or a solar expert determine the number of solar panels your home needs. Just look for something along the lines of kilowatt hours used or KWH on your utility bill. Bonus note, most utility bills have a bar chart and it's the best place to see your year-round energy usage month by month. 
And finally, number five, financing options. The actual cost of installing solar depends on a multitude of factors. This can include the type of panels you select, the system size itself, the inverter technology, roofing materials, and the company you use. Paying up front is generally the simplest payment method, but not everyone has 10, 15, or $25,000 just lying around to invest in solar. But not to worry, there are a multitude of financing options available in the industry. We offer a 20 year and a 10 year loan, both of which start your monthly payment off assuming you'll be applying the tax credit by month 18. The tax credit, by the way, as of this video, is 26% on the total price of the system. So that's pretty good. Every $10,000, you're getting $2,600 back from the tax credit. If you don't apply the tax credit to this style loan, it's all right. The monthly payment will just increase very little to account for this you know, amount that they were anticipating you to apply. This is pretty standard solar loan option that many other companies offer. So don't be shocked when everyone is offering you basically the same financing option. In conclusion, the time to go solar is now and your decision to watch this video is a step in the right direction for you and the planet's future. If there's one thing our customers regret, it's not joining the solar energy bandwagon much sooner. Don't make the same mistake Find out how much you can save by switching to solar with Pacific Sun Technologies by requesting a hassle-free quote today using the link in the description below. And hey, while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.